What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about the 2020 Audi RS6. Now the reason um, we're gonna try this kind of new format and fun video is because of the massive interest that's been in this car and the massive interest I've actually had in this car. I went along with Archie, Archie Hamilton, who's ordered one, bought one. Um, I went along with him when he placed down the deposit and when he configured the car and I've just grown this fascination with it and wanted to find out like a few little fun facts that maybe aren't too obvious about the car and then thought well I might as well share this with the audience so that then when you're at the pub when you're talking with your mates about the new R6 you can whip out some fun facts that they maybe did not know so anyways let's get straight into it one which I actually find really cool is Audi have kind of gone the BMW route with um, these preset buttons to be able to access power or, or you know sort of fun version of the car so you can preset these what they call RS buttons RS1 and RS2 which are accessible on the steering wheel and they're very much like the M buttons the famous M buttons M1 and M2 that you have in uh, all of M products now where you can press those on the steering wheel exactly the same concept so rather than flicking through comfort auto dynamic and efficiency modes um, which are kind of the Audi presets, you can make your own. So you can adjust, you know, if you want the exhaust valves to be open, closed, how, you know, heavy do you want the steering, how quick do you want the shifts, or how hard do you want the suspension. So you can adjust all of those things and have them preset on the steering wheel. Obviously, the Audi one's efficiency is for long distance, mile crunching, dynamic is when everything goes kind of in the, to the hardest mode. Comfort if you're on some really shitty B roads, basically, and you want to just have soft suspension. And then auto will adjust all of that for you. So yeah, that is the first fun fact, which I think is really cool. And they've taken one out of BMW's book there, but I think it's for the best. Second one, which is a big one, which I think is very cool, is that the Audi RS6, God, that came out weirdly, didn't it? I said Audi, <laughs> the Audi RS6, for the first time since it was released, that model and that concept of the RS6 in 2002 is going to be available in America. So it's never been available in America before. I didn't think there would be enough demand and it was a nightmare bringing it over. But now for the first time with this 2020 car, they're going to be sending some across the pond, which is epic news, not only for the people in, in the States, but also actually I think for us here, because it means we will have... Um, more tuning components, more body kits, new rims, you know, all of this stuff made for the RS6, which previously we weren't getting from the States, which are a huge sort of aftermarket manufacturer um, over there. And so it's really, really cool that it's going to be able to be, you know, put into their hands properly and for them to really be able to play with it. And it means that A, for the people in the States, if you're watching this from the States, really exciting because you're going to get a great product, no doubt about it. The Audi RS6 is going to be epic. And for us in Europe, we're going to be able to benefit with you guys' skill and genius at modifying these cars. So that's really exciting. It was actually such a big deal for Audi that the title of their press release was All New Audi RS6 Event is Coming to America! Triple exclamation mark, which is not very German, but shows how big of a deal the statement is of them sending this car across the pond. Third is actually this car comes with two options of steering. So it comes standard with kind of like a hot, hot hatch feeling steering, which means you don't need to turn it too much to go around uh, the tight bends, but it can also come with what they call the optional dynamic all wheel steering. So it's kind of what it says on the packet, right? It means all the wheels will turn. But what's cool about this, like most uh, four wheel steering systems, is over a certain speed, usually around 60 miles an hour, all four wheels will turn in the same direction. Obviously, the rear wheels will only turn at a few degrees, but that helps the car have more traction and more stability and be able to go around corners just a little bit better. But at low speed, the back wheels, the rear wheels will turn in the opposite direction to the front ones to be able to give it more maneuverability. So it's a really, really important system. Um, really cool that they're putting this on the RS6. It is, however, an option, which I didn't realize at first, but Really cool and it will make the car because it is a big car much more usable in so many different scenarios um, around town but also more communicative and more performing on the track so it's a win-win really. The fourth is one I'm not too sure about. It's the first RS6 to have double screens down the middle. So you've obviously got your normal sat-nav screen and you've got Apple CarPlay and all those types of things on that screen. But then below, you've got another screen uh, where you can see sort of your oil temperatures, you can see your lap times, you can see your 0 to 60, you can see your boost pressure, you can see a bunch of different things. Um, so, you know, really cool for that, for the info that you get there. And I think it looks really good when it's clean. I think the nightmare of that is you just get fingerprints all over it all the time. So you've got just screen in the middle there. And as soon as, even if you clean the interior, you use it a little bit, you'll just have fingerprints and your interior will instantly look really dirty. So I think it's really cool. I don't have a problem with all of that being analog personally or having buttons. It's like in the old Panameras, I actually like the sort of rocket ship button 
um, uh, center console they've got there. Whereas the new ones, it's all touch screen and it just looks very dirty, very quick, like this glass table that I'm currently putting fingerprints all over right now. But um, so yeah, so I think it's very cool. I don't know, I, I, maybe they found a way to prevent that from happening, which would be epic. But, um, you know, whatever happens, it's new technology. It's a step forward in the RS6 range, and it is definitely probably overall a positive double touchscreens on the center console. Fifth, actually, this one I kind of want to get you guys involved. Um, four ceramic brakes. There's a dynamic pack, and you can get ceramic brakes on this car instead of the traditional steel. Now, they save a certain amount of weight. But I'm really intrigued to think how much you think they save. Cole gave an estimate. I gave an estimate. And we both got it wrong. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time now. Comment down below what you think it is. So pause the video. Comment down below what you think the weight saving of these carbon ceramics are. I'll have a little break. And then we'll come back and you can see if you got it right. And then comment whether you got it right or not. You ready? I'll give you a little bit of time. <whistles> Reckon they're done, Cole? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Eh. Little yeah. lot lip. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I reckon now. Yep, okay, cool. Right, the answer is 34 kilos. That's how much it saves, which I think is massive. I'd guessed 15 to 20. Cole went ballistic and guessed 50 out of nowhere. 50 kilos, yeah, 200, yeah, while well, you're at it. But um, 34 kilos, really cool. So that, not only do they add performance and obviously um, reliability, because, you know, with the heat, they're not going to fade, but also they saved 34 kilos. So that's a really cool fifth fun fact. Sixth is one you probably all know, not only does it have the twin turbocharged V8, it's also got a 48 volt um, electric battery, which helps it and gives it that hybrid powertrain, which is really cool. But yeah, 48 volt electric battery that comes alongside the twin turbo V8. So you can tell your friends that when they say it's a hybrid, you know exactly the voltage. Seventh, which is kind of funky, is over 75 miles an hour, the Audi RS6 will actually lower itself automatically by 10 milliliters. Milliliters? <laughs> <laughs> May as well top up your blinker fluid as you're at the <laughs> Top up the blinker fluid. No, 10 millimeters, sorry, uh, so that the car is more stable because obviously the higher it is, more air goes under it, which creates more turbulence, which means the car's not stable. Whereas if you lower it, less air, less turbulence, more stability. So really cool that they've done that and uh, that's a new system for them. And also you can get a lift so that at low speeds under about 30 miles an hour, you can actually lift the car by 20 milliliters. Mill <laughs> oh my God. What is wrong with I don't you? know. <laughs> I hope I didn't say that in the French video. <laughs> oh well. Um, 20 millimeters. So 20 millimeters, you can raise the car. So it's kind of like on supercars, it's a lift. But on this, it's really cool because a lot of people take this car skiing, or maybe sometimes even off-roading because you can with the Quattro. So being able to lift it by 20 millimeters is really cool. Nailed it, millimeters. Are you sure they take an RS6 off-roading? Some people do. The carbon diffuses and splitters? Some pe I, on, when we went on snow tour, we went off-roading and they, he completely smashed his whole front oh, yeah. thing. Yeah. So you do, you do have the smashing to do it? Yeah, well, no, but I'm saying now you'll lift it 20 millimeters. Maybe he won't. Uh, yeah, exactly. Salt. There you go. Salt. Um, so yeah, anyways, fun fact. That is all the fun facts we have for you today. Seven fun facts. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Kind of fun. Um, really, really exciting car. Can't wait to see the first reviews and hopefully one day be able to, you know, uh, maybe be in the passenger seat or even get the chance to be behind the wheel of one. That would be incredible. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos with kind of fun facts like this of certain cars, I love looking up these geeky fun facts of cars. So if you enjoy it too, let me know in the comments down below. Easiest way for us to communicate is through comments or if you guys whack a like on the like button and then we know that we can make more of these videos. Thank you. Cheers. See you soon. Bye bye. Yeah. 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 Stay afloat. I got my head above water.